Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a 3D camera move in After Effects. So, for this example, I have these three uh, illustrations here of these kind of toolbars kind of thing, I don't know. And uh, they're just three 2D layers. So first off, I'm going to make them 3D by clicking on this little 3D box here. So now they are 3D. And as you can see here, we get these nice handles. And let's zoom in here and I can uh, grab this one and uh, turn it around. But I can also grab this one. And then you can see that it's going to turn 3D like that. All right, so uh, first let's go back to 100. Uh, I'm gonna click on one view here and I'm gonna click on two views. So now it divides my screen into two views. So I have my normal uh, viewfinder here and this one is looking at this stuff from above, directly above. So if, as you can see, as I select uh, the top one here, let's zoom in on this one. And if I take this arrow and move it into Z space, which is going uh, back, then you can see on the right screen there that it's uh, going further away, it's getting smaller. The actual thing is not getting smaller, but it's just further away from the uh, viewpoint here. So if I move it to the back further and then move it to the left as well, then we have this thing floating in the back in 3D. And on this side here, I can move it up on Y space. So drag it up like that. And for this one, I'm going to move that to the front. So from the top view here, drag it to the front and then drag it to the right like that. So now that's uh, more in front, uh, to, more towards us. So I'm going to duplicate this layer, pressing Command D and you know, make a little copy of it and uh, drag that up here and drag that even further behind like that and then drag that to the right maybe and then up a little bit. So just to create some, a nice 3D space here. Let's also duplicate this one and let's get that to the front, drag it down and then to the right a bit. So I'm going to drag it up a little bit and then to the left here and maybe uh, maybe get get it to the front a bit and also I'm going to I do going to make this one smaller so press s scale that down a little bit and then like this yeah it's fine okay so now we have this all floating into 3d but we would like to have a camera moving through this scene or around it or towards it whatever and we want some nice depth of field so I'm going to go to layer new camera and in this box, I'm not going to change anything. It's here, the focal length is 50 millimeters, that's fine. Enable depth of field, great. So as you can see on the right side here, something moved a little bit because now we have our camera looking at the scene. And you can see if I zoom out here on the top view, our camera is right over there and it is, it is looking at the scene like this. And this right here is where the camera is focused on right now. So if I open up my camera settings here, and I go to transform and we have point of interest, position, orientation, all that stuff. So I'm going to go to position and you can see on the right here and on the left, if I move this position and it, the camera turns to the left here, it kind of turns around. And on this side, you see that the camera is kind of turning around the scene. If I hold shift, I can move a bit faster. So now you can see that these things are actually in 3D space here. So this is already a really nice camera move like that. Uh, this middle one controls, you can kind of see it as the tilt maybe. It's tilting up and down. And this one is going uh, closer in or further out. So you can create some nice cool stuff with that. Um, and then if you open up your camera options, then here you can see um, the zoom, the depth of field is on, and the focus distance and the aperture. And right now, um, nothing, it's not all uh, everything is sharp, but I want this stuff that's more in the front here. I want that to be more um, out of focus. I want this to be in focus. So if I go to my aperture here and I've just drag that up a whole lot, you can see that the stuff that is not at where this line is, that's where it's uh, not focused anymore. So this one is still in focus. And if I go to my focus distance, if you can, if you change that, you can see that we have this little uh, extra line here. Um, 
uh, you know, g getting backwards. So if you drag that backwards and I'm going to uh, put the line on this shape here, so that's this one, you can see that this one will be in focus. Because the focus distance, that line, tells you where the camera is focusing on. So like this, so now this one is in focus and this isn't. So combining all this stuff and making like a camera move and changing the focus distance, you can just, of course, click on the uh, keyframe here on a stopwatch, create a keyframe and then go over here and then we're going to go back to this place. So now, now you go, you've animated like this focus pool, which you can also do with a real camera. And let's also do a position here. Let's start over there and we're going to go uh, to the right. We're going to turn around it and we're going to go further in like that. And let's also change the focal focus distance to the middle part here. So now we like this and, and you can see because now our let's zoom in here um, uh, at an angle. So this part is unsharp like this and this part is sharp. And if you want this whole thing sharp, just of course play around with the aperture, drag that down and then everything will get more sharp. But I like it like this. So now I've created this camera move where this thing is in focus and we go inwards and then it stops here and then this little part here becomes in focus and you can uh, of course play around with that and maybe put the focus on here uh, also on this little on this thing so now this one stays in focus so you have an actual focus puller on set with you oh and then um, Oops, and I need to change the, the keyframe here, of course, as well, like that. So that's a really cool and easy way to create some nice uh, 3D animations with just only 2D layers, which you have turned 3D, but it's not that crazy. Uh, here I've made a different scene with a lot more uh, stuff. You can see all of these blue layers here are these uh, little windows, and we have I've added these three arrows in between here. I'm working on a project and this is like kind of a behind the scenes look of what I'm creating. So this is not finished yet, but I did create some, uh, a little camera move here, as you can see. So later on in the animation, everything is going to be moving and animating and the camera is just going to move through this scene while everything, uh, you know, is doing its thing. So, um, yeah, that's a really cool way to create some nice 3d depth effects. Uh, that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up uh, or even consider subscribing to the Camp Keyframe YouTube channel to get updates on new videos when I upload them. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.